Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... How would you know that? I just meant that since there's no obvious damage that... Enough, Maester. Just remember that you'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. You're making me nervous, Mother. Don't be. You'll do fine. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look. I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no, just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But, Roderick, I, um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White-hilled soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Trust me, they won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. Uh-oh. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened oh. to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. <sighs> he wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. 
But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. <sighs> but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Let's be practical. When we defeat the White Hills, I'll give your father half of our Ironwood Forest. Uh, that's worth a fortune, Roderick. We'll pay it to secure this alliance. I'll need to discuss it with father, but... Sure. Yes. I played all of them except for uh, the Borderlands one. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. Deepest yeah. apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... the rumors are true. That's uh, ugly twat You again. have no right to justice. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Mind your own business, Whitetail. My son's affairs are not your concern. Then why not tell him why you invited me here? I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, no, this is my first time playing this episode. She practically begged me to come. Please don't spoil it. Of course, anything. I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you vote Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're threatening them and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lot. Enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral... Show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Gonna now, die. Since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. You can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? Oh, clever. That cunt. I can't. 
can't believe you would submit to him like what? that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. <sighs> Maybe I'd have done the same. She was gonna be unhappy no matter what he did there. One of the reasons why these games kind of annoy me. My lord. Are you well? Not really any actual true choice. I'm going to kill that man. <laughs> 